Good morning, my beautiful peeps. Welcome back to Wacky Wednesday. Hey, it's hump day. Time to declutter something, okay? Things you don't think about so often, like under your kitchen sink. That's what we're gonna do today. So come along with me. You can do it, we can do it together. And there's a few key things to remember, okay? If you're not using that cleaning product, it's expired for some reason, it's outdated, or you're keeping it just in case, get rid of it, all right? I know it's hard to let it go and throw it away and drain it, but do it, you know? You, you're gonna just use the things you like the most and you're gonna keep rebuying stuff because you don't know what you have under there if it's too packed. And the big thing is, how do you know if you have a leak if it's full of products and you can't see anything under there? There could be a rat under there. That happened to my sister once. There was rats, I'm just gonna say. Anyhow, come along with me, and at the end, you'll see Miss Libby. And remember, it, it's time to get rid of stuff. We're, we're getting rid of things one room at a time, one drawer at a time, one cabinet at a time. And the key thing also is to keep all your cleaning products that you use all the time right up front. Group like things together. Put your refills in a bin. Put your sponges in a bin. Put your cleaning rags in a bin. Okay? Some people like a little tray to carry around room to room. I, that doesn't work for me. Everybody's different. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. And I appreciate it if you'd like this video. Uh, let me know what you're doing. How's it going with the cleaning and decluttering? I appreciate that. Makes me laugh. Shout out to Ray Hickman. I'll show you a picture. He got rid of 20, I said it, 20 polo shirts out of his closet. Went to a good home. There you go. Yay, Ray! Ray, Ray, out in California. All right. Love you people. See you next week. Oh, there'll be a Libby short this weekend, and she'll make an appearance at the end of the video. She's so lazy. She's not helping at all. All right, bye. Hey, my beautiful peeps. Welcome back. This week, we're going to call it, What's Under Your Sink? This is important. Because if you don't look very often and you just pile things in there, the clutter of cleaning supplies, if you have a leak, and this happened to me, if you have a leak, maybe a small leak and you don't realize it, you can gut out your cabinets. It'll be, it's an awful mess. Especially the particle board crap they have now. It just disintegrates. And I'll show you that in a little bit. See, look at that, it's gross. And yes, you can have too many cleaning supplies. So let's get started. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I appreciate you, you clicking on this video and we're gonna declutter with humor and fun. Okay, I love this stuff. This Mrs. Meyers lemon verbena scent. I love citrus scents. Also got her dish soap. All right, Windex is good, I guess, for, if this is Windex with vinegar, it's pretty good, but I'm just trying to use it up because I want to go strictly to the Miss Meyer stuff. I like it best. So I'm gonna pull everything out, clean under here, and see if there's anything I can get rid of. And then I'm gonna do some cleaning with my products. Oh, I did want to show you this. Several YouTubers have mentioned this on their channels. It's called the pink stuff. I'm gonna try this today in my tub. I got, they actually, you can buy it online on Amazon, but I actually found it at Home Depot. It was like, I think it was $5.97. So I'm gonna try it. It's the Miracle Cleaning Paste. Oh, and it's vegan, look at that. There you go. And it's tough on stains. All right. Oh, see, I didn't look before I purchased, I have two. I'm gonna try to consolidate and declutter. Also, if you live in a human client, I get damper in front of the sink and that does help some, but not if there's a leak. If there's a big leak, it's not gonna soak it all up. Emergency flashlight, this is a mag light. I know where it is. It's under the sink in the kitchen. And it's also a weapon against a burglar. I'm just saying, these things are heavy. I got hit in the head once by accident. Thank you, Mike Buffet. I still have a scar. It's 
So I want to show you, this is what happened when I didn't catch the leak under here. Can you see it? I'm going to show you guys. I didn't catch the leak and it just rots this particle board. So I need to get a, a board in here. I'd love to get new cabinets, but you know, that's not going to happen right now. But I also got this from, I think, homedepot.com. It's like a extreme mat. It's called an extreme mat and it does protect somewhat, but there's only so much water that you can get in here and then it's going to leak over. So that's an important reason why. Also that you don't overbuy your cleaning products and you just use what you love and that you're going to use, right? And it doesn't overwhelm you when you open up and say, I have too much stuff. And obviously I have too much stuff, so I'm going to clean it out a little bit. And I'll show you the finished, clean, organized. There's a screw back there. What is that screw from? Oh, God, I hope the garbage disposal isn't falling apart. It's always something. <laughs>